We leave Kulama Bay before dawn to catch the last of the flood tide towards the Berkeley River. With only two hours of tide in our favour, we hope to reach Seaplane Bay 20 nautical miles away before the tide turns on us. Our friends Mark and Dee on the motor cruiser Arrow pass us and soon leave us in their wake. Good sailing winds saw us reach Seaplane Bay before the tide turned on us, so we decided to push on towards the east. Soon after the wind dies and turns on the nose, so we down the sails and motor on using up some of our precious fuel reserves. Sand waves soon discolour the water as the tide strengthens against us and our speed drops to below 3 knots. Our progress slows further so we cut our losses and head in behind Eric Island 15 miles short of the Berkeley River to await the morning's flood tide. We follow the track given in the cruising guide to cross the sandbar, passing the Berkeley River Resort on the west side of the entrance. So we made it to the Berkeley River, uh, absolutely beautiful spot. Uh, we had to push tide coming up from the King George River because uh, the tides were all wrong just at the moment to do a daytime crossing from the, t from the King George. Um, and we used a bit more fuel than we needed but we've managed to secure another 20 litres from another cruiser who had a bit of excess which is great so we'll have a bit more margin for error going to Darwin. After anchoring at its mouth, we head up Casuarina Creek with Mount Casuarina in the distance. Reaching the falls, we are pleased to see them still running this late in the dry season. With great swimming holes and Aboriginal art beckoning from above the falls, we head back to the walking track to the top. We join Mark and Dee from the motor cruiser Arrow and Rick and Nina from the cruising cat Duplicat to climb to the top and explore the area. We find another thylacine like painting suggesting they may have inhabited the area in times gone by. The water lily fringe billabongs make for a refreshing swim.
working hard on videos. That's what me. a! It's the video maker. At the moment, we've been in the uh, the Burke River for two days. Um, had a look at Casuarina Falls. Had a shower. Had a swim. Had a walk. All absolutely beautiful. We're now heading up to the rock bar at the end of the river uh, to have a look at the amphitheatre and the rock bar. And we'll spend a couple more days in the river before we head down to the mount. And we set out for our long trip across to Darwin. From the mouth to the rock bar is a little over 10 nautical miles, much of the river winding through stunning gorges. We drop anchor near the amphitheatre, a stunning small bay fringed by towering cliffs. The cliffs diminish as the river stretches towards the rock bar. Not far from the end of the navigable water we find a perennial spring and waterfall that we are told flows all year round. Above the waterfall stretches a rocky waterway with many inviting swimming holes. Reaching the rock bar, we anchor and walk upstream towards a distant mount on the horizon. The river widens into a rocky, boulder-strewn watercourse stretching off into the distance. On returning to our dinghies, we head back for sundowners with Rick and Nina on duplicate. In the morning, we head back downstream once more for another shower at Casuarina Falls before our long crossing of the Bonaparte Gulf to Darwin. So this is how you go showering in the Kimberley. Best shower you could ever have.
and we're at Casuarina Falls and has a beautiful stream of water even this late in the dry season and the view from the bathroom is pretty amazing. On returning to Naringa, we haul anchor and head downstream to Paul's Creek for our last destination in the Berkeley. Joining Mark and Dee, we explore the country around Paul's Creek. hectic day today. We're getting ourselves organised for our crossing from the uh, Berkeley River to Darwin, which will be a two night and three day adventure. Um, we've checked the inflatable, we've checked the boat, we've checked fuel and moved fuel around and hopefully, uh, today's Thursday, tomorrow we'll be leaving at two o'clock in the morning because that's when the high tide is and setting out across uh, Bonaparte Gulf and hopefully uh, by Sunday sometime we may be in Darwin. In preparation of our 228 nautical mile open water crossing to Darwin, we download our group files which forecast 0 to 15 knot winds for at least two days. Departing at 2am at high tide, we ride the ebb tide out across the sandbar. For the next two days we keep the boat on a compass bearing of 50 degrees. By daybreak we are out of sight of land and on our way across Bonaparte Gulf, beam reaching in a gentle northwesterly. Large blooms of Trichodesium algae colour the sea surface, a sure sign of the coming wet season. Halfway across and the grip files show a drop off in the winds for the following day. The morning brings light winds and glassy conditions, so back to motor sailing. As the sun falls into the sea, we download the latest grid file, which forecasts 20 to 25 knot winds around the top of the Cox Peninsula to round into Darwin. With the wind on the nose and against a very strong tide, the morning brings some of the roughest conditions we experienced on the trip. We finally round Charles Point on the Cox Peninsula and come off the wind enough to set the sails as we head into Darwin. Turning into Francis Bay, we drop anchor outside Tipperary Waters Marina to await the morning's high tide. After booking a marina berth, we head through the lock and into the marina.
After securing the boat, I catch a plane back to Derby to collect our car and trailer while Helen sorts out the boat, ready for our trip home. Heading on out of the marina, we turn to the adjacent boat ramp to finally haul Naringa out after 69 days in the water. With our electric trailer winch failing, our daughter uses the backup hand winch to haul Naringa back onto the trailer. After 1,372 nautical miles and 69 days on the water, with Naringa looking a little worse for wear, we drop her mast and ready her for her 5,000km trip home. <laughs> 